With the M5 knocking at our doors in two months, there are so many talented players emerging from each region. Why not take a look at the past and accumulate their journey? So come, let's honor these great talented players through this video. Before starting, let me clear out the criteria I decided on before making this list. I decided to take the players who are currently representing their teams. The players who are on a break and are not participating regularly are excluded from this list. For your unwavering love and support, we are back with 10 Epic Skins giveaway. Subscribe to the channel to take part. Winners will be revealed at 1.2 million subscribers. The one of the strongest regions in MLBB, Philippines. As the current best gold laner, we have Benny Cutie from none other than Echo PH. Don't believe me? Let's hear what other pro players have to say about Benny Cutie. Benny Cutie. Benny Cutie. Benny. Benny Cutie. Benny Cutie. Have Convinced told you now? So. His achievements are nothing but exemplary and I know everyone remembers his iconic plays throughout the MPL Season 11. His performances in MPL Season 12, which is still in progress, are a spectacle to watch and there's no doubt about why he's the best goal laner in the Philippines right now. These states tell us everything. Honorary mention to Super Macro from Brain, Kelra from Omega and Ohev from Blacklist you guys are the best too. The current best mid laner we have is Sanji again from Echo PH. Born in 2005, Elstone Pebico or as we know him Sanji is surely the best right now when it comes to mechanical gameplay and positioning of heroes. If you watched the week 2 of MPL PH season 12, you surely would know how absolutely ruthless he was. Named as the MVP for the week, he sure is aiming to be even stronger and better in the upcoming matches. We can't forget Hadzi from Blacklist International, Few from AP Brain and E2 Max from Omega Esports. You guys are the true champs. The winner for the best EXP laner is Edward from the Blacklist International. I'm sure all the MLBB enthusiasts know what a monster of EXP laner Edward is. His plays in all the MPLs he has taken part in are stained alone and one of the best plays you will ever witness. Everyone is familiar with his famous Lapu Lapu plays, isn't it? His achievements cannot be overlooked, especially his previous performance in the S tier tournaments. There are many other competitors like Senford from Echo PH and Flip TZ from AP Brain ready to dethrone our best. The best jungler as we all know is Carl TZ representing Echo PH. There are no ifs about this one, his achievements say completely about him. His wide range of hero pools in both utility junglers and damage junglers makes him the best jungler in the Philippines. His rotation and marks in team fights are just perfect. No wonder he is the biggest MLBB esports star in the region. He has surely left his mark on the stage with his spectacular performance in all the MPLs he participated in. But there are others waiting in the line like Irad and Kyle TZ who are also hungry to get this title. As I mentioned at the start, I couldn't include Wise as he is currently taking a break. So with that in mind, let's move to our best roamer currently, none other than Yavi. Now before you start jumping on me, I know currently JP is playing as the roamer for Echo PH in MPL Season 12 and he is doing some very wonderful plays every now and then. But when it comes to Yavi, he and his Chao, they are just legendary. Let's see what all the players need to say about him. With that level of respect from his opponents, I'm sure he must have left an impression on them. Light from RSG Slate PH and Ogwin from AP Brand, they are also working their way to the top. Now let's open to one of the emerging regions, North America. Sadly, they have no ATA tournaments in the NA region till now. So we have to take BTA tournaments like NACT as our guide. 
The best performer in the goal lane is ISO from BTK. After the reformation of BTK, ISO has been one of the consistent pillars in the team's success in the NSCT. His active goal lane plays and mastery of heroes makes him the perfect goal laner in the current scenarios. He sure has a lot to show us and I know he is capable of achieving greatness on the bigger stage. So let's support him together by watching more and more NA tournaments. Basic, who now represents Evlon, sure come as a close goal to him along with Zia from the Ohio brothers. Can't wait to see them clash in the playoffs. The best mid laner is our all time favorite Hun from the Ohio brothers. Hun mastery of the roles makes him the best mid laner in all of North America according to me for now. Everyone has witnessed his smart plays on the stage and how his mastery of the heroes makes him do miraculous plays. We are yet to witness his true potential and I am eagerly waiting for him and the Ohio brothers to show what they are made of in the playoffs which are going to start soon. Yato from BTK is also making his presence. The best EXP laner will be Kati from Avalon. Formerly known as Victor, we all know how he made his name in the M3. But we are not talking about the world stage here. Again as I said earlier, we will be making the list according to their current roles. So I was forced to drop down one of my favorites of all time, the goat fight chicken as he is currently plays as the roamer for BTK. And is surely very good at it. The best jungler is still uncontested is Moba Jane from BTK. If you look at the current performance, best player from TOB is also on his path to dethrone Moba Jane, so who knows? The results of the playoffs can help us decide, I guess. The main points for me to put Moba Jane as the best player will be his team callings and counter strategies exploits. He surely boosts his team's morale and coordination with his consistency as a leader. And then I'll let my team down with some of the retribution. Let's leave it to the playoffs results for this one. MOBA Zen or base player, who should you think should represent as NA's base jungler? Share your choice down below. And the best rumor for NA will be Shark representing TOB. He has made himself quite a name in the MLBB community with his iconic Lolita plays. He sure has a variety of roamers in his arsenal and is ready to pick the crucial heroes in the game. With so many responsibilities on his shoulders, what do you think can he carry the weight of it and march through to M5? I am very excited to find this out. Moving on to Indonesia. The best gold laner right now is none other than CW from the Onig ID. And just a wee behind him is Skylar from RRQ. I think most of the Indonesian fans will agree with me. His performance along with his team is sight to watch. And when you watch such intense and contesting matches, not only do you enjoy them, but learn a lot from them. His achievements are something that he should definitely be proud of. Comment down below who are you most excited to see. The best mid laner in Indonesia is Sans from the Onik ID. who is closely followed by Clay, and nobody can forget Prime Lemon, can we? It might seem like I'm a bit Onyx fan. What can I do? Their performance this MPL is just so good and with the confidence they have after the recent tournament wins, they all including Sans, who shows great caliber and performance throughout the MPL season 12. This is the beauty of the game. Every season we witness new strategies from the greatest and each surpassing the other in no time. The best EXP laner is Boots again from Onik ID. I personally also agree that R7 from RRQ is one of the greatest of all time but as he is in an inactive position like our anti-mage from EOS Legends, Boots reigns supreme at the top with his excellent game mechanics.
His list of achievements is one of the most impressive you can find out. Let's see what he has to show us in the playoffs. The best roamer currently in ID is Naomi from RRQ. After Vince transfer to Bigitron Alpha and to prove that I'm not biased to Onik ID by placing Kiboy on the top. Naomi ever since he came to RRQ is showing how much of a talent he is in the game. His pickoffs are a treat to watch. I'm sure RRQ will reclaim their title as the Kings and Naomi will play a great role in it. His performance in the current MPL says everything about him. And the best jungler undoubtedly is Kyrie again from Onigaini. The fourth player on the list from Onigaini. And Kazuki says he is not biased towards Onigaini. What can I do? My fellow match is performance and amazing mind boggling plays. Just cannot be ignored. Can it? Albert when playing as RRQ's jungler was also one of my all-time favorites but as he joined Onik and now plays in a versatile position, I could not keep him on the list. The next region is Malaysia. The best goal laner for Malaysia currently is Loli Ulz from RSG MY. Did you watch his performance in the latest MPL MY season 12? It is nothing but extraordinary. Dethroning Chiku guys, because of his versatility, I had to exclude him, one of the greatest in Malaysia. Loli Elz has more wonders to show to us on the big stages. He recently also got the MVP for the week 2 of his MPL edition, cementing his name even further. The best mid laner currently is Izanami from RSG MY. Izanami is also no less than the others. His excellent game skills, which he has shown throughout the season, is very commendable. His perfect team synchronization helped his team achieve the top spot in the current MPL. And let's see what more he has in store for us. The best jungler now is Gary from Team HQ. Dethroning all time favorites in the region rival. Team and Kai was also legendary during this season, but trust me, Gary can pull their team through the lower brackets. And if the Malaysian players disagree with me, share your thoughts down below and tell us who do you think should be the best jungler now. The best EXP laner currently will be Smooth from the team SMG. Considering the fact that Momo's performance in the current season with Formez not making his entrance, I could not outlook smooth performance in the current season. My guy is really hungry to earn this spot, so I give it to him. After his excellent performance in the previous edition of MPL, he is set to cement his name in the list, that's for sure. The best Roman now is Zon from Homeboys. Recently transferred from Geek Fame Zone, Shore has left a mark in the current MPL. Yum Shore is one of the greatest roamer of all time in Malaysia, but again after the Todex performance. It would be unfair if I keep this another great roamer from Malaysia out of the limelight. Now only the playoffs will tell if he can maintain his position as the best roamer now. There are other regions like MPL SG, MPL KH which I want to cover in a separate video if we hit a goal of 8k likes in this video. So smash the like button if you want the top players from these regions too. That was all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.